You guys have been hyping up this OVA like crazy. I need to see this animation. I need to see Eris in action. And I need to see some goblin slaying because this one's called Eris the Goblin Slayer. What's up Dapper Squad, it's your boy Darius back at it again with Mushoku Tensei. It's more like a one-off video. I do want to let you guys know we are watching this live on Twitch right now for the first time. I am testing out reactions over there, so if you guys want to be one of those people who gets to watch this live uncut the full length with me, make sure you guys go tune into the live twitch.tv slash Dapper Darius. As you can see, we have some follows popping up right now. But this OVA that I'm going to be watching, I've been told takes place between episodes 16 and 17, right when Rudy comes back and finds Powell and they get into their little spat and you guys know how controversial and how gray area I got with that I I got a lot of comments hating on me I got a lot of comments agreeing with me that's how I want it to be you know with anything that's controversial in real life that's what I love about Mushoku it's so real the characters are so real that I disagree with what some may do you guys agree with some may do that's the, that's the good thing about having discourse we can have this debate but I'm excited to get in this episode I'm not gonna waste any more time I gotta find out what happens I say we hop right on into it I'm excited don't forget if you guys want early access and full length to this show and all the other shows I'm watching check out that patreon links down in the description down below like always four episodes ahead make sure to subscribe click that bell so you guys always know when I post over here on the dapper channel follow all the social medias Instagram Twitch TikTok, Twitter make sure that twitch too because we're following, we're watching this live all that dapper Darius much appreciated let's hop right on into this Mushoku Tensei OVA it says season one episode 24 so I almost said this but Eris the Goblin Slayer speaking of when's Goblin Slayer coming back I need some Goblin Slayer season two let's do this I love when shows who have a set animation style will differ from that and have something super creative like this like I get such deathly hollow Harry Potter vibes from this when they were giving that little quick story you know, it's explaining the Deathly Hollows, and they cut over to that beautiful animation. Like, whose backstory is this? Someone was born, their parents were brutally murdered, no context as to why. I love that reflection of how it goes into the water, into the castle. So this child who was taken in by the, taken in by this rich, noble, royal family, something along those lines, is now being treated... Why does he... He liked the attention he was getting. I love how everything is so saturated and colored, except for the silhouettes, which are pure black and white. No, no information or context to that. Okay. Seeing food in, in anime always makes you want to watch Shokugeki no Soma. Look at this. Like, that looks delectable. So they're off doing this, their day to day. And while Rudy was doing his thing, oh my god. See, I feel like I'm playing Elden Ring. Get your gear. I just got a Guts Berserk Sword myself. I'm killing over here, killing Radon, get some new shit. Let me just say I love the opening of Mushoku. How it always uh, is never the same opening. Just plays that song over visual shots. Ooh, I love seeing new guilds. Seeing people's different weapons and shit. Tell me why the guild lady, the guild receptionist, is always so attractive. Every time. Every time. Okay. I mean, it makes sense, but it's a little fucking weird. Reminds me of The Walking Dead when Daryl had a necklace of zombie ears. I just see a shorter kid with a, a staff like that. I instantly think of the opening we just got. Is this him? He seems kind of confident. Uh oh, what's Eris gonna do? I like how she has the confidence to be able to, st you know, step in and stop this. Not that Rudy doesn't, but I just, I don't think Rudy would have done this, you know? Was well, he pissed? Like, why did you step up for me? Yeah. She was not expecting that, you could tell. Ooh, <laughs> those veins. <laughs> She's about to burst. Ooh. Yeah, you think... God, I was literally just about to say, you think you should be worried about those guys? Eris would beat the flying fuck out of anyone. Like, there's a couple of things I'm not doing in my in my life ever. 
like fighting a Samoan guy, calling Eris ugly, are like up there. You know what I'm saying? Like it's just like known. He's apologizing. That's good. Uh, Cliff. Okay. Cliff Grimoire. Interesting name. I love Grimoires. Black Clover made me love Grimoires. <laughs> I think he saw her strength and likes her now. <laughs> that is too funny. I was literally just about to say, I'm curious how he would stack up to Rudy. Yeah, do a spell, Cliff. Let's see it. I like these designs for the goblins. I like how they're different. They're not uniform. Fierce Spirit of Flame and Dark Bastard renowned in hell. What kind of magic is he going to use? I love the incantations they do. Oh, that is, okay. He is pretty damn powerful. I can't lie. <laughs> okay, Cliff. Okay. I mean, we did see the intro. The intro, I'm almost a ha positive, is about Cliff now. He did impress those other noble people with his magic skills. He is somewhat exceptional. But we can't take their ear back if you fucking roast them to a crisp. He's too full of himself to think about the bigger picture. Yeah, that's where the issue lies. Why not? Yeah, nighttime in a forest like this sounds pretty fucking scary. I agree. See, I like the I like the way. It, no, that's not being afraid. That's called being smart. See, now he's she's she's very smart, but when you push her buttons in the right way, you can easily manipulate her. So damn it. But I was about to say I agree with what she was saying right there. God damn it, Eris. Ooh, I love the focus. We can... Swords clashing. That Oh, that was dope. I love the way she did that. That is some intuition right there. That's like some Inosuke level stuff. They did a good... They were smart with coming out with this OVA because I want Season 2 even more right now. Temple Knights... Oh, damn. And she's protecting a girl? So, you serve the Pope. Hmm. Really? That blessed child could be the next one? That's so fucked up. You gotta do it. Fuck it. Oh! Ah, ah, ah. Oh! My god, she cut that man in half! This man, Cliff, was underestimating the fuck out of her. Oh, I love how you can literally see the reflection of him in her eyes. With that flip, that's so nasty. She grabs his? Bro. Ghislaine might be the best teacher ever. Like, I want to see... Oh my god, this shit is so good. This is Eris, and then let alone Ghislaine, and then let alone the Sword God. I want to see all of them. Oh my god, she is quick as shit. Oh. See? That's why I fuck with Eris. She's smart. That's Rudy's plan the whole time. I'm a superb. You don't look like a superb, but you did a good thing protecting this little girl. So I'm gonna. I like a. I like her armor too. Like that certain shade of blue. Like that's a good, good shade of blue. It really is. Master Cliff. So he's with the Pope currently. I'm so glad Ruger's just been tailing them the whole time. 
Okay, so this is a little bit bigger than I thought it would be. So the current Pope is cool with demons, supposedly, but we know that they're taxing demons more than other people. So is that the current Pope's regimen, or is that the new Pope and new legislation being passed in? I'm curious, because Ruby Richard seemed genuinely a little bit concerned about Cliff right there. Like, hmm, this guy's with them. You know, is this going to be bad? Is this going to be good? What is it? I'm not going to say he was pampered, but he must have had a lot of things given to him to think that she would say yes like that. If only you knew. I love how ha no matter how many flaws he has, because he's a very flawed person, she still says that. Mm. Which is very interesting because they look very similar in terms of their statue and their haircut, you know. Why is it all muted up? Is he that upset that he's... Well, I mean, at least he genuinely does. His infatuation with her is genuine. I appreciate that. Like, Eris as an adult, I could totally see anyone falling for her, you know? Like, she's that type of tsundere type girl, you know? Super strong, confident, independent, willing to do whatever is needed, willing to help her, you know? She's, 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 a, she's an S -tier, S tier character for sure. But he is hearing how she was talking about Rudy picturing them together, and he knows he really stands no chance. So he's, uh... See, that's what I love. He's following her the whole time, and she had no idea. Tell me why... They could set this up like a whole little arc. Like, this could have been a little whole arc. Similar to how Pax, that whole Sharon arc, you know, with Rudy, that could have been another, like, three-episode little thing. Now the pieces are really starting to be put together. How she walks in all happy, cheery like that, and Rudy's had one of the worst days he's had in a very long time with Paul, you know? The storytelling in this is super well done, you know? Very well done. See, I prefer characters that will see someone like Rudy that want that has what they want and get motivation from him. Extra episode, like that's the end? Wait, whoa. I thought, are we not finishing this out? Are we not gonna have a conclusion to the story is there another ova coming out what the hell well that was a fantastic ova absolutely lovely i need more though i am so flabbergasted that it ended right there now i'm assuming we might get answers to what's gonna happen or what's going on in season two but my only question is season two takes place chronologically much later than this so and eris you know already has her hair cut all this that and the other at the end so i'm like and that's going to be a story in and of itself. Eris is, you know, like season two is already going to be a whole bunch, but this seemed like a, like, like I was saying in the episode, this is setting up like another arc as if like we were in Sharon talking to Pax and Zenoba again. And like, so I'm so, I was like so shocked that it actually ended right there, but I loved how well it connected with what Eris was doing on that same day, how we just happened to see uh, Rudy's POV that day, but now we saw Eris's and it fit in. Like there's no like loopholes like it fit in perfectly and with what she was doing and how she was making money wanted to do for the group spreading the good name of Rudyard. i appreciate all that and i respect it i'm just i just want more that's the only that's the only downside i would say which isn't a downside in and of itself because you can't i can't blame anyone but myself for that but animation oh my god when eris was going in with the sword the first guy i was like okay she's going in she's going in she's going in and then it went clean through i was like there's no way she chopped a dude in half at the waist. Like, that's that's what I've been wanting Asta to do for so long. Obviously, it's not going to get that dark. I get it. But I wanted that. So I love... I don't know why. Game of Thrones made me love seeing... Nah, that sounds so dark. I'm not going to say that. But fantastic OVA. Fantastic animation. I love seeing the Mushoku opening again. Just fantastic setup shots with their classic soundtrack in the background. It was so interesting, unique, and good and bad at the same time not seeing rudy throughout like the entire episode but i really enjoyed cliff as a character and the du duality and the dichotomy he has um if you guys heard that my phone just had a little alarm but um fantastic ova i need more hopefully you guys enjoyed if you did please leave a like let me know your thoughts down below don't forget to subscribe click that bell don't forget to come over on twitch if you guys want to watch this live with us i would next time i might have chat open next time so they can tell you how much you guys need to come over here on twitch but uh, other than that, have a great day. Don't forget to drink some water. Tell someone you love them. Uh, have a great day, Dapper Squad. Peace out, y'all.